Hey yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Booth back here with another banger for y'all. And today we have the best ISO build possible. Well, I wouldn't say best, more like unique, more like you can do it all. 6'6, six, 6'8 six, six, wingspan, you know, that type of thing. Let's just get straight into it. As you hop in the build, I made a rebirth. Yes, of course, you want to rebirth your builds if you have it. You have a floor spacing slasher, compares to De'Aaron Fox. Halliburton and Kenny Smith with the jet man. Nah. Anyways, let's go to edit the build. Obviously, you're gonna make it a point guard, 6'6, 198, and 6'8 wingspan. Hit continue button. Now, as you see, I've made the build already. I'll lower this, and I mean, you, eh, I'll just put it back up. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, I've made the build. Uh, for the close shot, put it at 52. Don't really need it that high. As you have driving layup, 72 driving layup, pretty good. 84 driving dunk for the LeBron packages. I really like it. I don't know if y'all do. I like the LeBron a lot. Like uh, the LeBron packages are really good on this like game, honestly, because you get like a lot of game animations out of it. That's why I just picked up to 84 and then 46 game dunk. I think a lot is a 45 and try to put something else on it. But all right, try everything. You don't really need to do anything else. By lowering it, you get a 45 minimum for the basic stain dunks. That's all you really need on this game. Now let's continue. Put the mid range at a 77. 92 three pointer, you know why. That's silver limbless. And you get gold blinders, gold dead eye, gold agent threes, catch and shoot, hoff, corner specialist, you know, gold. I meant, man, my bad. I meant gold, catch and shoot. Anyways, green machine, gold. Base grade of gold. Spot finder gold, Claymore Hoff, Comeback Kid Hoff, Guard Up Hoff, and Open Lux Gold. The Guard Hoff, man, I am tripping today. My bad, yo. Gold Guard Up. Gold Guard Up. Now let's continue. 67 free throw. 77 pass. Through. I mean, this is all you really need. 77 pass sack is like everything in the like video that you need or in the build. It's just like you get Needle Threader, you get Dimer, you get Brick Starter Silver. Like, you get all these incredible badges. That's all you really need in this game. And relay pass and stuff like that. 92 ball handle, pretty good. Blow by, house for days gold, killer combo silver, speed booster gold, unpluckable gold, ankle breaker gold, and triple strike gold. I mean, you'll get some ankle breakers, you'll have enough. This is what it is. And plus, you'll probably get the best dribble moves, which I will show you guys later on to this video. And yeah, let's go to speed with ball 83. That will unlock some things for you and the little thing, the little signature uh animations or whatever that place then we go down 75 perimeter you only need 94 feet and all the bronze badges are cool enough for you to like just play defense and stay stagnant i guess because you're a guard you're probably just going to take this into like the theater the park like wherever you want to go that kind of thing and your skills a 91 i feel like skills op this, this year at least like you pluck somebody as ggs that's why i've got a gold glove and then gold interceptor is really good too with right stick ripper if you learn it it's a really good tool to have on your thing and we go down 30 offensive rebound 80 speed just to like you know play defense because speed is entitled to um lateral quickness and lateral quickness is like really important for you as far as defense like if you don't move laterally you'll be like messed up honestly especially against people who like come off screens or even iso they will just blow right by you if you don't have the right stats acceleration 87 um i really feel like this is important because a7xl will give you the speed booster gold and not just silver that's why i say that and that's why you should put it like that it's the only reason but yeah that's pretty much that and your strength 47 i mean not important 64 vert this is the minimum you need for lebron dunks so why you have the driving dunk at 84 and then your stamina is gonna be at 97 just to you know get that gold hands for days unlocked and your war course i guess but you don't have any perimeter defense i mean you could put up to 79 if you could figure out some way but that's probably the way to do the build because you can't really do that and yeah that's the build man you know you get every every good shooting badge on the game at a decent tier you get some finishing badges as well some playmaking and you get a bit of defense especially that gold glove man i ain't gonna lie that gold glove is it's really something special on this shit my bad for cursing but you know that that gold glove go crazy if you know my guards out there man. 
But yeah, y'all seen the build name, all that. Honestly though, let's get straight into the jump shot. So this is the jump shot that I've been using personally on my build for this exercise because I actually upgraded this one and basically I wanted to give this build like a really good jumper. So let's just get straight into it. Cameron Johnson is the lower base, upper release one, Troy Bound Jr., upper release two, Torian Prince. Blending is 39% Trey Brown Jr. and 61% Torian Prince. I usually like my jump shots 4 out of 4. You get an A plus release height, amazing. A plus release speed, amazing. B defensive immunity, that's all you really need. And your timing stability pretty much is a C. But I mean, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Like, you don't really exactly need that timing stability to be up that crazy, but. At least not a D or an F, it's at a C, so it'll be reasonable enough for people who actually like stability in their jump shots. So, yeah, this is why I really like it. It's just like you see it, like he just goes straight up and down, like, and the release, like, of the ball is really, like, it's in the middle. It's not too high, not too low. Like, you know where you're going to shoot at. You're going to shoot at where the hands release or where the ball comes up top. So that's why I really like it. Especially if you're using push or set point. Those are probably my two recommendations for it. Honestly, because I really like set point a lot for my guard builds for some reason. I just like releasing the ball faster, I think. That's really what it is. So yeah, let's just get on to the six. So for the six that I have here, I use Magic Johnson dribble style. Has a really good push cross. Six size up, I'm still kind of a work in progress, but I really like Giannis's. It just gets you by. Pro regular breakdown combo really good. John Moran aggressive breakdown gives you a lot of space. I use Trey Young uh, skate moves and combo moves. He has the uh, Trey Young like Hezzy from what's it called 2K22 and 23. I use James Moon crossover gives you like really fast like one two boom. James Harden beyond the back. I think everybody uses this in like Pro Am and stuff. It's really good. Like I really like using that personally. DeMar Rosen spin, I like it too. Just, you know, give you that quick spin and burst. Pro hesitation and James Harden, he James Harden step back. I mean, I really like that one. Gives you a lot of space to create with. And I just keep all these on normal and none. You don't really need anything like that. Yeah, those are my six though. That's why I be cooking up with usually. And then for my layup style, um, I, I really like MJ's, but you guys can like try it out too. And stuff like that. And I also use his pull-up. His pull-up is really good. Like, I probably think that's better than Kobe's for a 6'6". Six, six, stuff like that. So, yeah. I really like that. You can try out different layup styles. I, I heard LaMelo Ball and Jalen Brown is good. But I don't really know yet. Haven't really tested out layups in-game. Because I want to finish this build first before anything. So, yeah. That's the video. Hopefully, you guys like this build. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all socials. You know, my Twitter is now Boofic with just no underscore. I got it changed. And follow my TikTok, Boofic underscore. And follow my Twitch, just Boofic. So, yeah. That's it. Like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully, y'all boys enjoyed the video. Catch y'all boys later. Peace.